Hi, today I'm going to do tell you some of the mighty names of God and what they mean and how to pray with them. And as we go on in this prayer, always watch the ads to help support this ministry. You are blessed always. Amen. The scriptures reveal to us the names of God. And these names portray certain characteristics or attributes of God. The names of God therefore reveal who he was to the ancient believers and who he wants to be to us now. Even though most of these names were revealed to God's people in the Old Testament, they are still relevant to us today. God is unchanging and remains the same. So his names are as powerful now as it was then. Now let us know some of these names. Number one is Yahweh, meaning the Lord God. It was revealed in Genesis chapter 2 verse 4 which says, These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created, and the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. Yahweh is found in the Hebrew Bible and is known as a covenant name of God, the holiest of names and the most respected. It is derived from the Hebrew word, I am. Prayer. Oh God, thank you for being Jehovah Yahweh to me. Give me the grace to keep trusting you as you bring to fulfill your promises in my life. The number two is Adonai, meaning Lord God, that is Master. Adonai was first revealed in Exodus 34, verses 23, which says, Three times in the year all your males shall appear before the Lord God, the God of Israel. The word Adonai comes from the plural form of Adon, which means Lord. It is used to give reference to the Trinity of God. Let us pray. Jehovah Adonai, I adore and acknowledge your Trinity. Father, help me to experience the power of the Godhead in Jesus' name. Number three is Elohim, meaning Father God, God the Creator. First spoken of in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 which says in the beginning when God created the heavens and the earth Elohim reflects on the all powerful and sovereign nature of God it was first mentioned in the first verse of the scriptures and 2,000 times more in the Bible prayer Jehovah Elohim the creator of heaven and the earth thank you for making me one of your creations I pray that you will recreate every aspect of my life. Amen. Another name is number four is Abba, meaning Father. He said, Abba, Father, for you all things are possible. Remove this cup from me, yet not what I want, but what you want. Mark chapter 14, verse 36. The name Abba is usually used to show the father-child relationship between God and his people. It was mentioned thrice in the scriptures. It is a name that can that we call we can call upon when we need assurance, comfort and protection. Knowing in a childlike faith that our father will hear us and look after us. Let us use that name to pray. I belong wholly to you, Father. Please come and make my heart your abode. I want to have the assurance and comfort that comes with being your child. Another one is Jehovah Jireh, meaning the Lord will provide. So Abraham called that place, the Lord will provide, as it is said to this day, on the mount of the Lord it shall be provided. Genesis chapter 22 verse 14. 
Jehovah Jireh is the beautiful name of God that portrays his faithfulness in providing for his children. All these needs as far as they remain under his wings. Let us pray with this name. O oh God, I thank you for never forsaking me because you are Jehovah Jireh. I ask for your continual faithfulness in my life and family in Jesus' name. Another name is Jehovah Rapha, meaning the God who heals. First revealed in Psalm 147 verse 3 which says, He heals the broken hearted and binds up their wounds. When you need divine healing from infirmities, then call on Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals, and see how he will heal you completely. Amen. Prayer. Oh God, I thank you because you are my Jehovah Rapha. I pray that you stretch out your hand of healing into my life and make me completely whole. Another name of Jesus is this Jehovah Nissi, meaning the Lord is my banner. Revealed in Exodus 17 verse 15, and Moses built an altar and called it, The Lord is my banner. Jehovah Nissi is a name of God that proclaims his declaration and promises to always protect his children and to deliver them from their foes. Let us use their name and pray. Oh God, thank you for being my Jehovah Nissi. I declare you as my banner of protection and deliverance from the hands of my enemies. Amen. Another one is Jehovah Shalom, meaning the Lord is peace. Then Gideon built an altar there to the Lord and called it, The Lord is Peace. Judges chapter 6 verse 24. The name Jehovah Shalom appears only once in the Bible in Judges 6 24. And yet this characteristic of God is both powerful and essential to our daily existence. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for being Jehovah Shalom. You are my peace. When my enemy seems to surround me, on every side help me to remember that your peace will guide my heart and mind in Christ Jesus Philippians 4 6 Amen